Indiana County. My name is Lindsay Palmer. I am a photographer, photography professor, and ophthalmic photographer in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today I am going to be teaching you how to make a camera obscura out of your bedroom. The camera obscura uses natural light and optics to project an image from the outside world into your bedroom through the window. To make a camera obscura, you'll need a room with at least one window, some tape, some tin foil, scissors, and then some other additional objects to block light from coming into your window. You can use cardboard, sheets, blankets, pillows, or trash bags. The first thing you want to make for your camera obscura is your lens. You'll need a piece of aluminum foil, fold it in half, and then you'll want to cut a circle in it. You do want your circle to be fully round. So I like to start with a small circle first. This is the window that I've chosen to do my camera obscura with. So I'm gonna start by taping the lens that I just made into the window. After you tape your tin foil lens into the window, you want to go on and cover the rest of the window so that the only light coming in is from that small circular hole that we cut. Once you have your first window covered, it should look something like this. You're probably going to be spending a lot of time trying to plug little holes where extra light is coming in. A few of these holes are totally okay, and they won't change the image too much, but too many of them will cause the room to be too bright, and then your image won't be as clear as it could be. This is what my room looks like right now, with the lights on, and both my windows covered except for this small hole and some light leaks at the top. You can start to see some images forming on the wall here and over here. So we're gonna turn the lights off and see what it looks like. your camera is going to look different in your room at different parts of the day. The best time for a camera obscura is probably about midday between 11 and 2 when the sun is going to be both the brightest and most direct. I've also taped down my curtains as they were getting in the way and billowing in front of the hole. I have a blanket up top here and then the curtain is taped to the window on the back. This is making sure that no extra light is coming through. If there is a little bit of light coming through, that's all right, but you don't want too much. The room needs to be very dark. My lens hole is about the size of my thumb. If your room is bigger than mine, you will need a bigger hole. I'm gonna take a step back and look at everything. We have our first window with a lens. Our second window is completely covered. And now we're gonna turn the lights off. Seeing what shows up won't be immediate. You'll need to sit and let your eyes adjust. But this is two photos I took of my room with my camera. Don't worry if you don't have a professional camera that allows you to adjust exposure. You can use the night sight setting on your camera phone. video at multiple different times of day so that you can see the effect that light has on the camera. Behind me you can see some of the house across the street reflected onto the wall and then if you flip the camera around and you can see 
the one of the houses adjacent to us some blue sky and clouds some more blue sky over here on the ceiling you can see the green grass and the sidewalk and then all the way on the opposite side of the room is the house directly across the street what's really awesome about camera obscura is that when it's bright enough, it captures motion and it captures color. So we can see there are some cars driving down the road. Occasionally you'll see someone walking their dog on the sidewalk. And it really makes you feel kind of a part of the outside. It's really lovely to bring your neighborhood into your home. All right, everyone, as I wrap up this video, I just wanted to say thank you to the Pennsylvania Rural Art Alliance, Spruce Arts, and the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts for giving me the opportunity to make this video for you today. I hope you have so much fun making a camera obscura in your own home and finding a way to bring Indiana County back into your house.